This video is for the Xerox 5335. In this video, we'll be going over jam clearance, paper tray loading, and changing of the toner. With the Xerox, copying is still face up, and on the 5335, when you load in paper, a green light comes on to show you that the paper is loaded in properly. If you have a jam in the document feeder, a handle on the top of the um, paper tray can be lifted up so that you can release your document that's been stuck inside the um, document feeder. Paper orientation for the Xerox 5335 is a left-handed orientation. So our paper is loaded in the top left-hand corner of the Xerox copier. For cleaning the Xerox, we do not use ammonia-based cleaners. Um, as they will eat at the anesthetic film that's on top of the glass. Uh, cheap and easy, just to use a damp paper towel and a dry paper towel, wipe it on and wipe it off. If you're getting streaking on the document feeder, please clean the thin strip of glass to the left hand side of the main glass. The paper path on the Xerox 5335 actually comes from the paper tray up through the fuser that's on the left hand side and out. Tray F here are rollers to pull the paper through to the finisher. Sometimes uh, a piece of paper may get stuck in tray F. The power switch for the, 30, the 5335 is actually behind this clear door. So we can easily switch the power off and turn it back on. Behind the door, you will find our toner cartridge. This is the toner cartridge. This is our business end. It's not nearly as dirty as uh, toner cartridge in the past. Um, and it's cheap and uh, it's really easy to, to uh, change out the toner cartridge. There's even a nice arrow on the front of the toner cartridge to show you to slide it right on in. To load paper in the 5335, um, we push together our two green arrows to slide to adjust to the paper size that we want. So put in your paper, slide to adjust, close the door. When you do that on the screen, it's going to ask you to confirm your paper size. And I'm going to choose confirm. It's 8.5 by 11. Tray 2 is identical to tray 1. Trays 3 and 4 on the bottom are a high capacity 8.5 by 11 uh, paper trays. The actual finishing unit for this particular machine is a staple only uh, option. The stapler itself is um, seated inside of the finisher um, so that you cannot play with the, t the uh, staple cartridge until it gets low. Then it will come out so that you can easily replace it. The finisher also has a jam clearance at the very end with a handle. Lift the handle and the face of it rolls back so that you can easily pull out a document that may be jammed in the finisher. This particular unit has a proximity card reader and the proximity card reader will allow for proximity cards to be waved on it to automatically log in to use the, um, the copier. Um, Jam clearance is actually all done on the left hand side of the machine by pulling down on um, door letter A and the dark gray, uh, dark gray handle here. Pull that down and you will see our paper right in here. This is our fuser and we have a little arrow for A1 to ratchet the, the fuser to turn and push any paper out that may be stuck inside. Um, this is the jam clearance on the 5335. Um, it's a very, very convenient machine to use to clear out paper jams. We also have a door for E. And we still have our bypass tray on the side, tray 5. <laughs>